Hello watch fans! Berth here watches here and this time for you we have a men's Swiss Emperor automatic watch from circa 1955. Now this is quite high spec for that period. Automatic winding with a full rotor plus a date. That wasn't that common. That was You were going up in the ladder and this has 57 joules. It says that on the dial but this is why you didn't believe everything you said read. In 1962, this process of over dueling a watch was banned. And a jewel is a, a synthetic ruby bearing where a pivot runs in it. So they make a good watch last longer. You don't need 57 jewels in a three hand automatic. 17, 21, 25, plenty. After that, they stuck jewels around parts of the movement they, they were just unnecessary and they weren't functional so in 1962 the law changed to make this over dueling illegal it was actually punished by two years hard labor the watch is gold plated screw down case back it's got a little bit of wear to the lug ends a little bit of wear on the edge of the case the dial has some patina but it's all original uh, it's from 1955 after all it's going to have some patina if it is original all running nicely it's not one of our expensive watches we like to have a bit of both and it's available now at berthierwatches.com we'll put that link in a pinned comment under the video you can see wrist shots and uh, movement photos etc there and a little bit more about this over dueling case uh, over jeweled movement and the court case that surrounded them. It wasn't just Swiss Emperor that did this, there was lots of brands you can find them in 99 jewels, 100 jewels, uh, 77 jewels. They were all just decorative jewels, not functional jewels. Now, if you see a watch that says 57 jewels, it better have 57 jewels that were functioning and helping the watch run better. Interesting little quirk on horological history. Thank you very much, and if you like this sort of thing, please consider subscribing. We'll see you next time.